It's time for America's favorite hillbilly themed public access talk show, Redneck Roundtable. Some of you may remember tonight's host from his former show, Rise and Shine KKK. Please welcome Jim Bob. Good evening and welcome to the Redneck Roundtable. What's the greatest sport of all time? Automobile racing or monster truck rallies? Dang, man. That's a tough one. Around here, we tackle the big questions. Oh, well, this ain't no joke, Roy Bob. Well, you all know how I feel about monster trucks. I was born at a monster truck rally. For real? His mother and I used to make intimacies on occasion. She swears to God on his truth. It was a balmy night in the 1975, the location, the Brainerd International Raceway. Don't be shy, boy. Tell the story. I just slid right on out of my mama chamber and I saw myself the biggest, best monster truck of the all time, the original Bigfoot. Dang, I told ya. I would give the right side of my squirrel pots to see that. Well, we all know that uh, monster truck rallies are a great place to lose your virginity. <laughs> West virginity or regular virginity? My little sister almost drowned in the racetrack porta potty once. Some fancy schmancy lawyer said we got a case, as long as we keep her out of the courtroom crapper. You know, they got ladies in racing now, too? Yeah, they got that, um, they got, uh, Danica Sue Patrick in that funny-looking gal that rides inside her bed. <laughs> oh, heck, the real action's in the head busting skull trauma. He calling the meat wagon. Man, once I saw a man lose an arm in a wreck, he doing thumbs up out the window. Must have been going 160, 170 miles per hour. <laughs> a woman could do that, too. <laughs> While maintaining a thumbs up, I doubt that very much. Violence and opportunity of the advancement of women in sports, all racing has it all. Tune in to next week's program when the next topic will be Hootenannies or Hoedown. Good night, everyone!